spring day, April 23rd, 2021. I'm in the village of Albertus, Pennsylvania. Albertus was discovered in 1873, named after Edward Albertus, who was a civil engineer who constructed the Pennsylvania branch of the Philadelphia and Reading Railroad. Albertus is on the NS Reading Line, the former Conrail Reading Line. And at this location, the CNF Secondary diverges, which is the Catasauqua and Fogelsville Railroad. We're just a few miles west of the village of McCungie, Pennsylvania, where there's a railroad park that was built in the early 2000s. McCungie, not McCungie. Albertus is a historic town, to say the least. Looking east towards Allentown on the NS Reading Line. As you can see since my last visit here, which was 17 years ago, they've CTC'd this line. There are signals guarding both tracks. Trains can move in either direction in either track. The track curving off to the left is the CNF Secondary. It's served by the NS H11 local, which serves an industrial park up the line. And the secondary track is in pretty good shape, but nice and shiny. They use it every day, every weekday, by the H-11. At 9.35 a.m. eastbound here at Albertus, we got what looks like a trash train Lead unit's got a nice K5 LLA horn on them. Probably an SD70 ACE. It's probably train 62V. Sounded nice. SD70 ACE on the point. That was 62V. Empty trash train from Mingo Junction, Ohio to Oak Island, Illinois. That pretty much goes through here every day. Span a 1020.
strong manifest train. Not sure what the symbol was, but uh, had wall GEs on the point and a lot of stinky trash containers on the front with an aroma that Edgar Allan Poe would describe as of detestable putrescence. At 10.26 a.m. we have something stopped to the east of CP Albertus and I can hear something coming from the west. Got an eastbound coming with a rather sick horn. He's going to be crossing over here. If he doesn't cross over here, it's going to be a big mess here. train and route to Newark, New Jersey. And the gates are going down immediately. We got a westbound that's been stopped here for a while, waiting for that eastbound 18N to clear. This looks like an SD60E on the point. Local freight, most likely the H44. Goes from Allentown to Abrams. <laughs> General Motors SD60E brow beaters. And we just had an NS vehicle get onto the tracks here. So we know that track isn't going to see anything. Five.
that's a pretty predictable train. That was 21M, one of the hottest trains on the railroad. En route from Croxton to Chicago with West Coast Business on BNSF. And it seems like they've increased the track speed through here. It used to be 50, and it was automatic block signal territory here. But with CTC, they must have been doing at least 60. Westbound at 1110. This could be the H11. Looking west, in the west end of Alberta, as you can see him switching down there. Power on that was an SD40-2. It was a former CEFX engine, former Burlington Northern engine. Trailing unit was an SD60E, similar to the ones we saw on the H44. Yeah, you can see the interlocking complex here at CP Albertus. It's been heavily used today. When I arrived here, there was a good-sized cut of cars already parked. That may have been dropped off by the H44 yesterday. The H11 had its own cut of cars. He went further down to the west and coupled up to the near cut of cars. Well, he's backing up. He picked up a few cars off of that cut of cars on the siding. Now he's backing up. He's going to head on to the CNF secondary. There's a dog kennel nearby. You can hear them all. There's dozens of dogs behind a fence nearby. Eastbound on the modal at 
just found in a moto slamming over the joints was 20k Chicago to Croxton. He had an AC44 C6M on the point with a K5 LLA horn. Must have did a horn swap on him somewhere. And there's H11's power. He's back. Westbound at 1223. was 19G and right from Oak Island to I believe it goes to Conway you had a DPU in there an SD70 ACE and H11 is sitting west of town see what he's gonna do next and 19G is a Croxton to Enola manifest train and Enola is gonna have its hands full with that well here comes the H11 local heading east looks like he's heading up the branch again He's got a pretty loud K5L LA horn, K5LA horn. This is an SD60M leading.
Alright, he's making a reverse move. Maybe he's going to back up to access the switch to get onto the main. sound. It's the best. 105, the H11 local is still sitting down there and coming fast on the near track is an eastbound and he's got a K5 LLA horn on the point. Found Whirlwind. That was train 294 and route from Chicago to E-Rail, New Jersey. 
he'll be stopping at Bethlehem to work. So 115, H11 is finally on his way east to Allentown. He'll be going through the switch here. The siding is all cleaned out. I'm not sure why those cars were sitting there, who dropped them off, where they came from, but they're heading for Allentown now. We move further east to a very popular rail fanning location in the area, the McCungee Railroad Park, which was open in the early 2000s. McCungee was founded in 1776, and at the time, it was called Millerstown, named after Peter Miller. But in 1875 it was renamed McCungee as there is already a Miller's town in central Pennsylvania. So Dean you got to follow the rules here no skateboarding. As you can see the daffodils are past their prime. They're beautiful when they bloom but they only bloom for a short time. They're like other towns in Pennsylvania, and there are many of them. It's a very old town, but the buildings are very well preserved. This busy highway is Pennsylvania Route 100. This line today is the Norfolk Southern Reading Line, formerly the Conrail Reading Line. Prior to that, it was the Reading Company's East Penn Branch. East Penn Branch didn't see nearly as many trains as this line does today, but traffic mushroomed when Conrail rerouted trains off the Northeast Corridor to avoid their Amtrak's high fees. This line got much busier. It's still busy today, but fewer trains than before, but as you can see, they're monsters. This old structure here is a remnant of the Tyler Pipe Company, which was here for many years, but no more. Used to be a great crossing there too. And right where I'm standing, there used to be a station here. Last passenger train that went through here was back in 1966, I believe. The old Queen of the Valley between Jersey City and Harrisburg. The old grade crossing that led to the pipe company was right where that red car is parked. Well, it's a nice park. I've been here over three hours now and I haven't seen a single train but it's a good place to chill out and relax sit in the car read a book take a siesta hopefully some will come before I leave and we have our first eastbound here in three and a half hours one must have patience sometimes this line sees about 25 trains a day on a good day maybe a little more if you have unit trains running. Intermodal is the bulk.
I'm powered by two SD60E brow beaters. That was H44 returning to Allentown from Abrams. As we pan around the village of Mukunji at 5.51 p.m., I can hear a distant eastbound approaching, blowing for the crossings at Albertus, west of here. By the sound of the horn, I'd say he has a newer Jeevo locomotive. Most likely an 8000 series one. Five HLs. The lead unit was an ES44AC in the 8000 series, and behind it was one of those boring, monotonous C44-9Ws in the 9000s. A lot of those are getting rebuilt to AC44C6Ms with AC traction motors, and just barely caught the SD70ACE DPU. Judging by the amount of lumber that was on the train, I would say that might have been 16T from Birmingham, Alabama, Irondale to Allentown. Well, folks, I think I'll call it a day. It's been a beautiful day out here today, in the low 60s. Sort of, there were gaps in trains, rather lengthy, but there were some busy times too. Got to see a couple of locals with General Motors power. Saw quite a bit of General Motors power today, so that's always nice. And um, it's kind of a feast or famine day, but a very pleasant day alongside the NS Reading Line in Albertus and McCungie, Pennsylvania. Well, I'm not leaving just yet. I was actually driving out of here over the tracks when I noticed that the westbound signal here, the approach signal to Albertus, was green. So I pulled in right away someplace. Here he comes. 6.34 p.m.
lead unit is one of those SD70 ACCs in the 1800 class. And that train had Mediterranean shipping core containers that definitely smelled like they had trash in them. Not sure what that symbol was though. But it was a good catch to end the day.